Okay, everybody, this is photo P day two, uh, and will be point one. So what's going to happen is the clone stamp. Um, yesterday I talked about the patch tool, the uh, self-healing tool, uh, things like that. This is similar. Um, it's just kind of like the healing tool, but you're going to decide what information you want to pick up. The computer's not going to do it. The computer's not going to put its two cents in it. It's all about you. So let's go to our clone stamp. I click on it. We're going to come up here and we're going to make this a very large brush. It's a big picture. So we'll go about 3, 5, 13. That looks good. Um, I'm going to keep the hardness at zero. And the best thing to do is keep it at zero because it's easier to blend. It'll blend into the picture easily and you'll see it why I do it. Um, as we go across, uh, it actually sets at current layer. Notice I will be picking up information from here. I will be putting it over here. But I don't want to ruin the integrity of my original piece or my background. So what I want to do is I want to come here. I want to click and say current and below and come down here and make a brand new layer. We're going to be working on layer one. So it's just like the clone stamp is on Photoshop. I'm going to hit the alt button or they also say K, but let's see. It says alt. So we go up here, hit alt. Notice I've got the plus sign. That's where I'm going to be picking up my information. So I hold the alt. I left click. Come over here and notice. Oh, you can see his head already. So let's come here. And let's start putting this gentleman in. Now, the best thing about this is you can see what I'm going over. If you look back and forth, you can see the actual small plus sign showing what I'm covering. I want to make sure I have everything over and done well. The difference between Photo P and Photoshop is that I am not able to stop this brush or this, this painting I'm doing right now or this, I guess, duplicating. Uh, if I do, I have to readjust and reset where I pick up my information from. It's not that it's difficult, but it's just a little easier if you do it all in one fail swoop. And I will go and show you that a little bit more. So let's get that foot down here. In Photoshop, it will actually get everything. And you're in once you, if you let go of your button and by accident you let go, uh, it will actually pick up where it left off. This one it won't, and I will show you in a moment. Let me just finish this up here. And I think I got everything I needed. Okay, he looks pretty good. So notice if I let go up, oh, it still goes back to my my original spot up, you know, of the of the actual head. You can see the head floating there. So if say if I miss something in his chest, I'd have to come over here, hit Alt, and then match it up, and then start all over again. Okay, so it's a little bit more difficult. Um, Photoshop's a little bit easier, but hey, for this online uh, photo P, this is exceptional. So now that I've got it done, notice over my layers, bada bing, bada boom, I have not ruined my actual original piece, which is wonderful. But now again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to pick up information from where I want it to. This is me making my decisions. So we're going to get a little closer around the feet. Let's come down over here. Let's pull this up a little bit. I'm holding the space bar to move that around. And notice, you can see that I have the white around here. Now, I am not going to change my brush. I'm going to keep it as a soft brush, but I'm going to make it smaller. By all means, I'm going to make it smaller. Yeah, it's a little too small. And I like how you can just come over here and see it. If all this fails, um, just keep going over here and checking it out. And that looks good. I like that there. I'm going to pick up information over here and try and get rid of this. Okay. So I come here, <laughs> do the alt again, come here, click, alt. And notice I can come here and I'm going to come around the shoe relatively close. And notice I'm picking up some of those rocks. I've got a little white there, but I don't want to get too close right now. Just for purposes. I would go back there with even a harder brush if I wanted to. Get really macro. If I wanted to, I even could select it. It's a little hazy, but I'm going to be okay with that. But notice I've got that around there. Come back here. Hit Alt again. And now I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger. Then I can come back in here and pick up all that information. Mm -hmm. yep. A little too rough here. I went a little too far into there. So I got to be a little bit more careful and picking up my information from. Come back here. I want to keep it that little blurry. Cool. Now this is very, I'll come down here, pick it up from here. Because notice, this is much closer. And notice I'm already getting rid of that line. So if I come back, it's looking pretty good. 
Okay. A little bit, I could have done better on, I get a little closer, maybe made my hardness a little, you know, a little, uh, the stroke a little bit more hardness. So it, it got the shoe a little bit better. But again, I'm doing this just for your edification. I'm going to let you hone your skills yourself. That's going to be what you're going to have to do when you play. Now, if I come around here around the pants, notice I got the little white here. It's a pretty good here. So I'm going to come back, clone stamp. I'm going to pick up something right about here. It's a little too big. I like to go down, just kind of remember your numbers. Hit Alt, picking it up right here. I'm a little lucky that, one more time. And notice it's pretty easily hidden because of the blur. And notice I'm doing that. Now I got a little bit of up here. I'll come over here, pick that up. And I'm gonna start getting rid of the color. I'm gonna start blending it in. And notice it's a little bit of white here. Come over here, closer, and I'll pick up the white here. But I'm always readjusting my colors. Notice I'll come up here to the thing, come down, come across. I'm making a white stripe. Of course, it's going to be a little thinner. Of course, let's make that smaller. And I'm just going to slowly, slowly adjust. Okay? So come back here, pick up some more white. That's a matter of adjusting. And if you see, control minus. Starting to blend in quite well. Now I see some imperfections. I see them over here. Um, that's just me coming back over here, make it a little bigger. I come here, Alt, and come in here and just picking it up. And notice, and I would of course go all the way around the gentleman and pick this up. So uh, if I'll just do a little bit of the green here. And again, I'm going to pick this up over here, clone stamp, way too big, way, way too big. I just wish you can pre-do these brushes. Um, you just can't, uh, but I'm not too worried. So let's pick up this green right here. So alt this, come on, oh, wrong one. Alt this, boom. And I would come down here and start getting rid of some of that color. Okay, and then I have to blend it in and I would make it work. Oh, let's readjust this. I don't like that dark up here. Kind of put it over here like that. And that's why I'm doing the soft edge because of course the background is blurry. I can even put in some of these if I wanted to. Let's come up here, finish that up here like that. Grab this over here. And notice I can put this in here and I can continue working, working. I would get more, uh, you know, more detailed down here, a little closer, getting a little closer more and more. You know, coming in here, smaller brush again, and still continuing to do it. Yes, it's a little tedious, but it works really well. I think the the time that you put into it is well worth it. Let's go all click this up, and you just come a little closer. And again, it'll work well. And we just continue to do whatever we need to do. And it's just a matter of getting it to where you want it. So. What I want you to do is come back, play a little bit. I want us to either duplicate somebody or we can do the opposite. If I don't like that, we can subtract somebody. So what I would do is I would do the absolute opposite of this. I would pick up the information and like it did, we did this in class earlier when we had the, sh the, the boat and things like that. But I'll just go over it one more time. Come over here, I'll pick this up and then I can start eliminating. Oh, I'm on. I'm on the wrong layer, people. Let's make a brand new layer. Let's hide this one. Excuse me, that, but again, this is what I normally do in class, so you're good. And we could start eliminating them. Again, I picked up his ear over here. We don't want that. Let's come over here and do this. And notice how we're blending them in nice and easy. And it'll work out really well. So. You've done this before. It's easy again. Boom, picture's still there. I love that the that it works on that layer, and that's something I didn't show you before. Don't ever um, manipulate the original artwork. So there's your clone stamp. Watch, go ahead and start cloning things out or doubling things up or putting things in, okay? Have a good day. Stay strong as always. Life is good.